Number eight, letter A. How long will the energy in a 1,470 kilojoule or 350 kilocalorie cup of yogurt last in a woman doing work at the rate of 150 watts with an efficiency of 20%, such as leisurely climbing stairs? All right. Please check out number um, seven. Uh, the one I just did, I went through a very detailed discussion of how to view this problem. All right, I'm going to do the bare bones here. So we have um, this energy that has come in, or actually, you know what, let me do this. Uh, okay, so the uh, she has uh, taken in, right? 1,470 kilojoules of energy. So inside of her body, there are 1,470 kilojoules now. And she's going to be doing work at a rate of 150 watts. But the efficiency is only 20%. Now, this is what we talked about before. Out of that energy, out of the rate that will come out of this, okay, there will be two outputs. All right. There is, there is a useful, I put this as like a little, I don't know, lever, um, not a lever, like a little uh, uh, valve or so. To, to signify rate. Um, actually, if you've ever studied system dynamics, you, this would be familiar to actually system dynamics is a wonderfully interesting subject um, that should definitely be uh, taught the basics of it. I think it it's very useful. Um, anyway, so we have useful work here, useful work uh, being output, and then we have heat energy. Okay, heat energy being lost. And oh, wait a minute, that looks like this formula over here, right? Internal energy is basically the change in heat and change in uh, work. All right. So she's doing work at a rate of 150 watts, but the efficiency is only 20%. I also spoke about efficiency, I think in number uh, five. So check out that for this formula. Okay. So here we're going to have the efficiency is basically equal to uh, the, uh, and actually, I talked about, though, the rate, the efficiency in terms of rate, actually, number uh, seven. So you'd be fine to just check out number seven and not number five. Um, but you should anyway. They're, they're, they're all very useful. Two, uh, what was it? Two, five, seven. Okay, those are the ones I went through a lot of detail on. So here we're going to have essentially the power output. Okay, power output. The useful power output divided by the uh, power, I'll say, uh, the total power. All right, that need, that is being um, performed. Okay, so basically the rate that they told us, the 150 watts, is the rate at which the woman is doing work. So that is essentially part of the output, okay? That's only part of it. That's not the total. But we have a relationship between the useful work being outputted and the total work then being performed. What I want to do in this case is I want to find the total work, the total, I should say, power, the total rate at which uh, energy is being consumed. That would then be equal to the power that's being outputted in terms of work, divided then by the efficiency in terms of the decimal. Okay, remember whenever you calculate, you need a decimal. So the uh, power, the useful work being outputted, they said is 150 watts. Okay, great. And that's now divided by the efficiency of 0.2. So the total power meaning the total metabolism rate. And that might have been better if I framed it that way. All right. So I might go back and just change that. That's 750, 750 uh, watts, a.k.a. joules per second. All right. Let me rephrase this. Uh, instead of saying this is, this is, the formula is fine, but I'm going to be a little more specific. This is the power uh, being produced to do useful, useful work. And then divided by then the total power of metabolism. You have to remember what power is, right? This is the rate at which useful work is being performed divided by the rate at which compounds are being uh, metabolized inside the body. All right, the total amount. This is basically the total amount of energy that's being uh, burned, so to speak, quote unquote burned, right? Really converted is the right word. Um, it's not burned. Um, inside the body, all right? So here we have, this is then the total amount, uh, the total rate at which energy is being metabolized in the body. Now, she has just consumed a yogurt that contains 1,470 kilojoules, all right, of energy. So now we have to find out how long this will last, okay? So how do we figure this out? 
Well, we can just do a little dimensional analysis, right? We started with 1,470 kilojoules. First thing I notice is that this unit has joules per second, and this has, you know, kilojoules in it. So what I can do, you know, let me show you this way, and then I'll show you the formula, likely, uh, for uh, the formula uh, method. So here, kilojoules on the bottom, joules on the top. You know that there's 1,000 joules for every kilojoule, okay? Now... I need to find seconds. So now I have to reorganize this value so that seconds are on the top and joules are on the bottom. Why are joules on the bottom? Because I want them to cancel and I want just the time. All right, so this says that it's 750 joules for every second. That's the rate of metabolism. And look, what happens? Kilojoules cancel, joules cancel, leaving us with time. So that it will be the answer. So this is 1470 multiplied by 1000 divided by then 750. So here this works out to be 1,960 seconds. So this is 1,960 seconds. Okay, that's how long it's going to last. Another way to have viewed this would have been to talk about the power equation. That power is equal to uh, energy, or yeah, let me just write energy, per time. Okay? So now, uh, this being the case, we found her rate of power consumption, right? It's 750 watts. 750. The energy here, though, what's the problem with that? Well, the energy here is going to be uh, in terms of kilojoules they gave us, right? It's 1,470, but you know you need that in joules, so just convert that. So that would be 1,470,000 joules, then divide it by the time. So what do you notice when you do this? You got to take 14, 1, 14, 7, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then divide it by 750. Oh, and wait a minute. Look, it's the same. Right, this is 1960 seconds. So it doesn't matter to me which way you do it. One way might connect better with you. Anyway, it's 1900 seconds. What does that mean in terms? That's great. That's an answer. We can leave that there, but uh, we can convert that into maybe minutes. Maybe that's a little easier. So take that value divided by 60. So that's about 32 minutes. All right. So this many seconds is about 32 minutes. 32.7 minutes. Okay. So about a half an hour. Right. So basically. Right. In order, if if this woman is now climbing stairs, just think about that for two. Just think about that for two seconds. Right. Well, actually, by the way, this this is probably a little excessive for a cup of yogurt. Right. I mean, three hundred fifty calories. I even eat whole milk yogurt, and uh, I don't even think it has three hundred fifty. I think maybe it's two hundred or so. But just think about that for a second. This amount of kilocalories, okay, that you consumed, you would have to walk upstairs. For a half an hour in order to burn it off. Just think about that. Isn't that crazy? That's why losing weight is so difficult, right? That's why. That's why. It, 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 the math doesn't lie. The physics doesn't lie. The best way to lose weight is to curb your eating, not to necessarily increase your activity. Increasing activity has health benefits. Yes, I do not disagree. That's great, and you should. However... The key to actually losing weight is to just close one's mouth. That's what I got to remember at night. Instead of snacking while watching TV, I have to remember just keep the mouth closed. Don't open it up. Don't open it up. Don't put that extra whatever I'm eating in. All right? Because, because this little cup of yogurt here, to burn this off, you'd have to walk up stairs for a half an hour. <laughs> right? When you start thinking about that, it's like, God, I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> it's not worth it. Right. Um, I mean, you need to eat to live, though. Right. Uh, so I'm, I'm being you know, a little facetious here. However, the key is, you know, it, it, just by walking upstairs for a half an hour, you're only going to burn that little yogurt. Just think about it. It's easier not to eat it than it is to uh, walk up a flight of stairs for half an hour. <laughs> right. It just takes discipline. But that's where that's where people usually fall off the bandwagon. It's the discipline. All right, and myself included. I include myself in that category too. So um, just keep that in mind. All right, the key to weight loss is really reducing the consumption, also increasing your activity too. That's great. That will help. But but you know, just think. Remember, you got to walk up a flight. Uh, you got to walk upstairs for a half an hour just to burn off that little cup of yogurt. All right, you still have to eat though. I, I mean, you can't live without eating. You got to eat at a certain rate. So please, you know, don't take this any other way. I just mean that. It's amazing the amount of energy that's inherent inside of inside of food, inside of a little amount of food. Okay, in terms of and and in terms of how much work we have to do, you know, to to expend that amount of energy, it's crazy. All right, so letter B.
Does the time found in part A imply that this is easy to consume more food energy than you can reasonably expect to work off with that? Oh, that's funny. I, I literally answered B. Uh, I didn't even know, but uh, I just discussed it. So, guys, I hope you find this interesting. This is kind of, I'm sure a lot of you probably are interested in health. Myself as well, health and fitness and all this. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are studying to become, you know, possibly doctors or dentists or physician's assistants and whatever the case is. Right, even if you're just physics majors and whatnot, that's great too. Right, this this should this is kind of real now. Right, this is kind of this is a topic that can be easily applied to real life, and you can also use these concepts of physics, which are true, to understand that there's a lot of charlatism out there when it comes uh, to health and fitness. All right, and um, yeah, maybe we'll write a book. We'll all write a book together: the non charlatans method to weight loss. All right, guys, I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out. All right, subscribe if you can. Tell your friends, hit the like button. I'm really, we're really trying to give you all we got. Thank you.